In the previous video, we were able to create this user interface. So these buttons for the numbers work and the dot button work, but now the delete and the operations and the equal buttons do not do anything yet. For the delete button, what I want to do is I want to make it easy. Whenever I click on this, this should disappear here. I'm deleting everything. Or I might as well set it to zero. So what I will do is I will go here and just make sure that I have an action listener for my delete button which is something that I don't have so what I will do is del button dot add action listener and I will say this in the parentheses and what I need to do next is to go here right beneath the last one I did I will include new one for my delete button so I'll say if git source is equal to del button my to parse string right now is going to be uh, let's set it to zero and then display field is going to be equal to to parse string I can make it zero I can make it an empty string it's going to display whatever I tell it to do. Now this is a zero. My next step is to make those run. So for the first one, which is the add button, I wanted to check if this is the first number, then it should save it somewhere, and then allow me to enter the second number. And if I enter the second number, as calculators work, you don't have to hit the um, equal sign you can just go ahead and click the operator button again and this will allow it to run or to calculate so this is what I want to do so I already have an action listener for my add button which is I call plus button so what I will need to do is I will need first to check if this is the first number or not so I'll declare a boolean somewhere with my variables up top so let me go up top here and I will say I will have a boolean called first and I will set this to true whenever I start my application so this is going to tell me if I'm entering the first number or the second number now what I need to do is I need to go back into my action listener or action performed method and underneath the last one I just added I will get one for the plus button so I'll say okay if my source is called plus button then what I need to do is I need to first check if this is the first number or not so if first I will go ahead and um, set this to the first number so my first number is the label I save so first number dot set text is equal to whatever I have on my display and whatever I have on my display is currently stored in a string that's called to parse I don't have to get the text of my label and then what I have to do is I need to um, change the second to change the label display label to have nothing in there so in this case I will say to parse should be now let's say um, zero and then what I will do after this is I will set my um, to parse or my display label to whatever I have in the to parse so display field dot set text is going to be the string to parse right now and finally I have to do something to enable me to enter the second number which is basically just flipping the boolean so first is equal to not first which is setting first to false 
Now in my else part, so if I'm dealing with the second number, what should I do in this case? So if I'm dealing with the second number, it's going to be pretty similar, but then I will call my add method. So what I will do is I will set the second number to whatever I have to parse. So second number that set text is going to be whatever I have to parse. Now um, I need to save or to parse those numbers. So let me declare a double, call it x. That is going to be equal to double dot parse double. And then I have to provide it with a string. So my string is going to be first number dot get text. So first number label dot get text. And my other double is going to be the second number label dot get text. So this is going to be second number dot get text and this is going to be y. After this I need to call the add method. And what I will do here is I will come after my action performed method. Let me just delete this to organize the code a little bit. And what I will do here is I will create a method that is going to add those numbers and I don't need to return it, I'll just need to set my display label. So um, I will call this public void and I'm going to call it add. It is going to take a double, that is x, another double, that is y. And what's going to happen here? is going to create a double, let me call a result that is going to be equal to x plus y and now I need to transform this result into a string why do I need to do this? because uh, the label will accept a string as its, as its um, text and the set text method so what I will do is I will say uh, let me create a string and I will call this display this is going to be equal to string dot value of and then I will provide my result here and this is going to give me whatever the value of result but in a string format after this I will have to do something with to parse I can just set it to zero or I can just set it to uh, whatever the number is or I can even set my first number to the current result so I can keep adding to it but I will keep it simple here I will just add two numbers and then that's it you will have to reset the calculator either using a reset button that we'll create later or you can just restart the application now this is not the best way to do it this is just to make it simple okay now what I need to do after this is I will need to set my display field dot set text to whatever I needed to display now I created this in here I need to call this add method so I'll call it with X and Y and let me save this and let me run it so I'll add 12 plus 6 this is going to be 18 